cuties welcome back to my channel my name is Maddie and I'm back with another video for you guys today I want to share some of the things that I used for the year of 2019 that was regularly used in my makeup routine for every day so these products that I'm sharing they are budget friendly also I do have maybe a few that is high-end but majority of them are more affordable products so yeah before I get started if you're new here to my channel welcome if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe down below and also click on that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload videos so without further ado let's jump right into this video so okay for my first makeup product yeah guys uh, it's very affordable and it's sold in Ulta you can either go to their website or you can pick it up at your local altar. It's the foundation. And you guys, you all probably know because I've been using it for a while. It's by Revolution, Makeup Revolution. And it is the uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So this here is what I've been wearing. One of my holy grails for 2019, y'all. So yeah, this here is has been my holy grail. I will probably have the links to practically everything that I have down below in the description section so you guys can go check that out if you are interested in purchasing that. Okay, okay guys, for the next product, it's one of my face powders. And I've been using this faithfully for the year 2019. It is my matte mineralized skin finish powder in the shade dark. And y'all, this has been everything to me. I love this. And this here is what the shade look like. And I can also use the deep dark and bronze my face or contour my face with, but I, I probably end up getting that real soon. For my subtle highlight, I, I go in with my matte gold deposit mineralized skin finish. And I just put it on the apples of my cheeks Maybe sometime down the bridge of my nose, cubis bow, and sometime I put it on my brow bone. So yeah, this here is subtle. It's not wham bam in your face. It's pretty, it's light. It, it's more of a just a light glow. And I love, 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 love this. Okay, for my next product, it's concealers. I use these here concealers by Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark, Dark Circles. So I have four of them in different shades. One for contouring, one for just really uh, clean my skin tone and then a couple of them to highlight with. For contouring and bronzing, which everybody probably know, if you watch my videos and my makeup tutorials, you know that I been using the Kiss Contour Palette. I got this from my local beauty supply store, y'all. And this is what it looks like. And you see, I've already hit pan on this one here. So for the next product, I'm going to mention like for a primer. I don't really use a lot of primers. I haven't found the right primer just yet. So for this year, I didn't use a lot of primers. Um, I didn't. I didn't have anything that I really gravitated toward, that I really love. So... I'm going to X out the primers. As for face sprays, face spray, I love using the Mario Prodescu spray. And the one that I used was the, um, was the one with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. And also, I would use my favorite, which was the uh, Morphe Continuous uh, Setting Mist. This has also been one of my favorites. Yes, y'all. I, I love this. For the next product is for the eyebrow, my favorite one, but it was a little bit pricey. And I have gotten some affordable brow pencils that did the works for me, y'all. Broadway eyebrow pencil, this one here in dark brown. I get this one from my local Dollar General store. Now, if I uh, have run out of my uh, benefit, Precisely my brow pencil. This is one that I started off with at the beginning of the year, which was my favorite. But 
to me, it didn't last long. Either it will break and it's over. It's just like it didn't have enough product. So, yeah. Um, but it was one of my favorites. And also for another bra product, I bought this from one of my local stores. And it really does the job. It's, the name of it is, it says Love. Love Soft Brown Eyebrow Gel. And this is the gel here. I don't know if you can see that under the back. It doesn't seem like mine. And that's the shade, and I love it, and it, it holds well. I have it on my brows today. And for the next makeup product, I have two of these that I've been using. I switch out back and forth, and it is my setting powders. And this one here is by Revolution, and it is the Luxury Baking Powder, like the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. It has, both of these has been some of the ones that I use on a regular. So this one here is what the container for my Revolution comes in. And I'm not sure why my focusing is not focusing well on my products. Okay, and as for the eyeshadow palette, like I mentioned, I do simple makeup looks. And this is what this video is about, my simple makeup products that I use basically every single day for 2019. And yeah, and it is by Revolution as well. Very affordable, you guys. You can pick it up at Ultra, like I mentioned on the foundation. And you can also purchase on their website. And this one is um, Reloaded Neutrals 3. And this here is what the palette looks like. What it looks like. Y'all, this is my favorite, favorite palette so far for the year of 2019. It has done the job, you know, very pigmented. I think the formula is pretty decent for the price. And I can't say, cause I have gotten other uh, palettes that are high end, perform just like this one, perform just like it. And as far with my lips, I really didn't do much with the lips. I always just wear gloss to work or either I use my, my lip chap and I'm good to go. I never really just put on lipstick at that time when I go to work most of the time. Or sometimes I might put on something that's nude. And this here is mainly the, um, the glosses that I have is by NYX. And that is the Butter Gloss. And this one here is Proline, I think. Proline or Proline, one of them. But this is what it looks like. This here is a shade. It kind of looks like this container here. Okay, so now we finna go to perfumes. And for my perfumes, y'all, once I find a nice fragrant that I love, I hardly ever try something else. But this year, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and try different ones. So for the, the two that I've been using, y'all, has been some of my favorites, and these are uh, the empty bottles. I do have some more of these. I just had these in here to share. Uh, the uh, this YSL Black Opium. Yes, this is it. And then the next one was my Viva La Juice La Juice uh, Couture. I guess I'm saying it correctly. And y'all favorite favorite yes this smell here this one here this juicy uh couture is just more it's it's a light scent it's pleasant it's not over the top it's i guess i can say you know it's a beautiful smell it's not i can't I'm not good at describing things, but it's, oh my God, this is a, this is a winner here, y'all. It's this Black Opium by YSL. It's, I, I, like I mentioned, I can't really describe things to people. It's just, I know what I like, but it has a good smell. It's not too overpowering. You know how sometimes you can get perfume and it's so, it's, it's so overpowering. So 
this one here is just nice elegant fra fragrance it's just uh, I just love the smell like for my wigs and things that I use to apply my wigs it is got to be blast and freeze spray that I love and for the next one is the got to be gel I love that one it's in the black tube I don't have it here with me and for the next one I'm not going to say that I've been using this because, y'all, I'm going to tell you, I had this almost a whole year before I even used this. The got to be glue. The cream formula. I just really started using this one. But the gel in the black tube and the blasting free spray has been my regular go-tos to apply my wigs. Yeah. My makeup brushes. Okay, y'all. I'm a sucker for brushes. Love makeup brushes, y'all. I don't know. I can buy up makeup. And I probably don't use half of the brushes, but I love makeup brushes for some apparent reason. I don't know. And I feel like I can't get enough of makeup brushes. So I do have a Morphe collection of brushes. I have Jaclyn Hill brushes. I have Sigma brushes. I have Elf brushes. Uh, I have Crown. Crown brush brushes um i have lux uh lux luxy brushes i have brushes i have the real technique brushes y'all i'm just at real uh yeah real technique brushes i also have the vanity planet brushes y'all i love brushes i feel like you never get enough of brushes so far my favorite face powder face brush is this morphe E41, y'all. When I tell you this is my favorite face powder brush. I love, love, love this brush, y'all. Oh my God. I don't think I can ever be without this brush. I'm thinking about purchase purchasing another one because I really need this one. It's my favorite, y'all. So this brush has been every everything to me. And so I can't really say. For eye brushes, because I love all the Morphe eye brushes. Jaclyn Hill brushes, I love them. The eye brushes, I can't really just say, but I love, love, love them. And as for my sponges, this one here that I have is my Real Technique. And also, I have another one, uh, the Sony Cashew brush. I mean, sponge, I love that one. I don't have it here with me. It's black and white. And then this one here, I think I got, is by, this one might be by Real Technique. But the one by Real Technique, they don't cost that much. This is one of them I, be, I use today. And I like, I like these. So, so let me know down in the comment section, what are some of your favorite makeup products that you've used for the year of 2019? Let me know down below. And so, yeah, until next time. You guys be blessed and don't forget to be a blessing and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.